Mambo vipi? Unauza nini? Unauza nini? Miwa. Miwa ni shilingi ngapi? Mia bili na mia tano. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today we'll be taking a casual evening walk and exploring the area of Sinza here in Dar es Salaam. Now behind me here is the iconic PPF Tower and here you will find many legal offices, consultancy business and many more here in Dar es Salaam. Thank you so much for always coming back and watch my videos and do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni Tanzania! Welcome to Tanzania! Sinza is an administrative ward located near the Kinondoni district of the Dar es Salaam region of Tanzania. With its much desired location, Sinza is the place to be while in Dar es Salaam. With its wide range of attractions to discover, this sought after part of town will not cease to amaze you. Sinza has a lot to offer, ranging from great restaurants and a range of exciting entertainment. On today's episode, we'll be walking and exploring more of this beautiful area of Sinza. So on today's show, we'll be taking a nice casual walk, like I said in my introduction. And we'll be checking out Sinza. Sinza is quite a lively neighborhood. Very lively neighborhood. There's a lot of shopping areas. There's a lot of restaurants and bars. There's always something happening in Sinza. And it's also um, an affordable, the more affordable place to get an apartment or, or live, you know, if you're staying for some time here in Dar es Salaam in comparison to other areas. And you can see there are good roads, a, a lovely sidewalk here. And it's not too far where we, where we started this walk in front of the PPF Towers there is not too far away from the Milimani shopping mall so that's really convenient if you want to be near that shopping area there and still enjoy the comforts of having some modern facilities nearby And one of the things I do enjoy about Sinza, you also find a lot of hotels here in the area, which is, you know, they're quite modern hotels, decent rooms, which you could definitely look into. So for example, right here, this is a city novelty hotel. That's what it's called here. And this is what it looks like from the outside. And it's, and it's quite in a, well, it's near the, the roadside, as you can see, but nevertheless, it's in a central location. It's not too far from the Limani shopping mall and also areas for you to shop in Sinza. So these are some of the things you'll see when you come here. Now, this is how some people sell plants 
here by the roadside you'll be passing and usually by the sidewalk behind the sidewalk you see these various plants and there'll usually be a seller who you can speak to and then you can purchase one of these plants if you want to you may want to have it for your own home or you may want to put it in your place of business etc you can purchase these things there so these are one of the feature you'll see especially in this area again if you can see what I was saying to my right this is the heightened annex launch launch so this is another guest house type of facility here in the area here in Dar es Salaam very near, near it was part of Sinza really and um, it's self-contained rooms you have TV in the rooms etc so these are some of the things you can check out when you come to this side you may not be sure if you want to live in the area for example so you might want to just check out the guest house guest houses and you know explore the area another this is a bar area right here a lot of these things you'll see in Sinza there's a lot of bars restaurants especially on the evening time the weekends there's always something going on so if you like living in a type of upbeat lively area definitely checking out Sinza will be a good option for you this is a fast food joint and you can see you can get uh, samaki, nyama ya kuku, chips, different things like that can be purchased here. Nyama ya kuku is chicken, by the way. That's in, in, in the language of Kiswahili. So you can get um, fried chicken and chips. That's, that's quite popular among some people here. joint So these are all local shops here in the area and one of the popular features you will see is a word you will see is wakala so that's something that could be the word of the day wakala and in, in English that means an agent so you'll see many shops that has the word wakala and these are usually agents who can deal with Impesa 
and other phone services here in Tanzania you may want to top up your mobile phone put credit on your mobile phone so all of this can be done by, by the Wakala and this here is another food joint and a bar area here which gets really popular during the evening time here in Tanzania and yeah you can you can get everything from alcoholic beverages non-alcoholic beverages foods and all of that across the road here is a cemetery This is someone selling sugar cane here. Liking the vibe here in Senza so far. So where we started from the PPF tower, you will arrive at this junction here. And then you just take a right. I'll take a right and that will lead me to a lot of the shopping areas here in Senza. Now you can see there's a lot of traffic because it's the evening time. A lot of people are actually coming back from work so there you will notice like in my previous evening walk that there, there, there is a build-up of traffic during the evening here in Dar es Salaam These are the local Dala Dala buses. This is what they look like here in the area. And this is very popular amongst the locals here in Tanzania. It's a popular mode of transportation. This bus is going to Moshi, Arusha. This is an express bus, intercity bus. So you see a lot of these uh, small businesses in this area here in Sinza, you know, for example, these are all dresses for the ladies. They have also men clo clothing, hats, different things like that. And also food stuff. Here you can get rice, beans and different things all in the area. Again, that's another food joint over there, guys. Another food joint. People go there and eat. Nyama Choma and all different local delicacies. Delicacies and delicious food. So, this area really has a lot of that going. And it really gets packed and busy during the evening time. So this is a school in the area and there's also like a mosque as well more islamic school is known as a madrasa 
madrasa and at a madrasa you will learn of course the Quran reciting the Quran and all these different things like that so that's what you just saw there Pharmacy, we got a barber shop, pharmacy again, there's also a hair and beauty salon. And to the right here is the Sinza Hospital. This is a hospital. So yeah, I mean the area it's lively and it it does have all the convenience stores that you require when you live somewhere or visit somewhere which is quite good and from here you can also get buses that will take you straight to Karyako Market, Karyako Sokoni so arguably it's, it's, it's a very strategic location Mbovipi Unauza nini? Unauza nini? Miwa Miwa ni shilingi ingapi? Mia bili na mia tano Sao Naomba Mia tano tafadhani Kuna change Shukrani Yeah, just got some uh, sugar cane again. Very popular fruit you'll notice in this area. And it's like around 500 Tanzanian shillings. So it's really affordable and a reasonable price. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a plastic bag like this. I'm sure you must have seen me purchase this in a previous episode. I really do enjoy it. Now here is, this is one of the local style bars down there and you can also get food to eat so you can see here they have chicken and chips and down there where you see those guys sitting you can get beers to drink, alcoholic drinks and they also do sodas and fruit juice so this is like a local style type of thing here in Tanzania Now right next to this local place we have like our mini shopping mall here and this is what it looks like really nice really really modern you know and that's one thing I like about Sinza you, 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 you get the opportunity to have the best of both worlds, you know? And that's uh, Wins. I believe it's Winsy or Winners. Winners, they call it. It's like a fruit juice bar. So you can get different type of smoothies and all of that. So we'll check that out in a minute. And, you know, you got things for the kids. If you got children, you could buy different clothing. There's a restaurant on bar literally right in front of us right now you can see where that um lady is standing with the other gentleman there 
that's like a restaurant and bar which is really nice you get to sit right at the top there and just enjoy a lovely view so yeah this is a mini shopping mall here in Sinza so a lot of development is definitely happening in the area So apart from um, the religion of Islam, Christianity is also a, a major religion here, especially on the mainland here in Tanzania and the upcountry um, cities. But this is what a church look, looks like here in Sinza. This is a church building. That's what it looks like. quite more modern architecture Again, you can see construction is booming in Dar es Salaam. This is another building that's under construction right now. And I'm sure when it's finished, it will be another business area here in Sinza. Now you see a lot of these types of uh, restaurants here in Sinza now if you're looking to buy food at a reduced cost in comparison to maybe going to restaurants in the shopping mall you may want to check out these type of food joints now they may not for some people you might not like how they look but however they do try their best to keep them clean and you do get food at a much reasonable cost like over there you have juicy uh, miwa which is really nice that's sugarcane juice and usually you can get a cup for like 500 tanzanian shillings 250 tanzanian shillings you know so if you're on a certain budget you you should definitely consider trying some of those rest restaurants and support the local businesses So this is Sinza guys, this is Sinza. Cool, cool, cool area, you know. Lots of businesses. It's booming. I'm liking the vibe here.
Again, you can see someone selling sugar cane. That's Alhamdulillah on that bus. And it means praise, praise, praise be to God. Alhamdulillah in the Arabic language. One of the things you'll notice when you visit Tanzania, you might see buses and they always, um, they have phrases on them that has some kind of uh, religious significance. You might see Nema Ya Mungu, which some, translates something like the blessings of God. You might see Mashallah, you know, something like God has willed this. You might see Inshallah, you know, these are some things you might see, you know. Nashukuru Mungu, thank God. I've been noticing that and throughout my travels here in Tanzania It's another intercity bus. So right in front of me, you, you'll see a few of these when you visit Tanzania. It's called uh, Bob Park movies. And it's almost like a mini movie theater where you can go and watch different films. So where I'm walking here now, here in Senza, you'll find a lot of various shops it's like a local market here you know and the place is always busy you know these are mangoes sugar cane there again you can see in terms of fashion you're spoiled for choice here ladies got a lot of that going on here and and, and for the guys there's a lot of things also Wow, this is a shopping center here, almost like a mini supermarket. A J Fashion. Got mine your step on these streets.
So we've moved from the main road and this is like the back roads here in Sinza. And you can see there are a lot of businesses, small businesses. Mostly clothing I'm seeing so far, but there's also uh, like for here, there's like a dry cleaners here, a laundry. We can get iron your clothes and all of that. There's also a kind of beauty parlor there. Ladies' nails is getting done by this man here. And apart from businesses, people actually live on this street. So this is something like, you know, where people actually, uh, people actually live, you know. Like, for example, here, like, these are apartments. So people will actually be living in these apartments here. You know? So these are some of the things, you know, some people, when they come here, they, they might rent in, rent from a building like that. So from the beautiful country of Tanzania, I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode as we walked and explored this lovely area of Sinza here in Dar es Salaam. Where will we go next? You'll have to stay tuned to learn more. I do appreciate the time you have took to watch today's episode and do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.